Hi everyone, this is Michelle for vegan.com and today I'm gonna show you how to make cauliflower steak. It is so delicious, pretty easy to make and a much healthier version of your traditional steak. What you're gonna need is one head of cauliflower. You're gonna need some very, very teriyaki and some olive oil. First, you're gonna set your oven to 400 degrees and you're gonna take your cauliflower and you're gonna get rid of all of those stems hanging off. So cut, 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 and then you're gonna slice your cauliflower. This is where it gets a little bit tricky and out of this whole head of cauliflower, I only got two pieces that stayed together um, to work for the cauliflower steaks. So cut carefully through it. It should be about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch um, for each steak. And then you can take all the rest of that and use it in a stir fry to make cauliflower buffalo wings or anything else. So there are our two beautiful steaks and now you're going to fry them in a pan. Use about one to two tablespoons of oil in the pan and then set your cauliflower steak pieces very gently into the pan. Let them sizzle there for maybe three or four minutes until they get lightly browned on the other side. And then when you go to flip them over, be very careful. This is a delicate art. I kind of mangled one of them. But probably use two hands if you can do so without burning yourself. Flip it over and then again, let it sit there for a few minutes before adding your very, very teriyaki. Make sure you move the cauliflowers around so they can soak up all of that teriyaki and you're gonna let it sizzle there until most of the sauce has been eaten up by the cauliflowers. And then put them on a baking sheet and bake them for 15 minutes. So here I am setting my timer. And now we're gonna cut up the toppings that we're gonna put on top of our steaks. First I'm cutting up some parsley and now I'm cutting up little tiny florets of extra cauliflower and a few slices of tomato. Finally, I'm adding some chopped olives and that's totally optional. Now I'm going to stir fry up those little tiny cauliflower florets and get them nice and browned and toasty and warm to put on top of the cauliflower. Well, my timer just went off, so it's time to take our steaks out of the oven and my God, they smell amazing and they look gorgeous. So you're gonna take your steak and put it on a plate and then you get to dress it with these lovely extras. I tossed the tomatoes in the pan for a few seconds so they got nice and warm and put them on the steak. Then you can just dress your plate however you'd like, make it look super fancy and get ready to chow down on this beautiful puppy. So here it is and oh my god, I can't even tell you how delicious this is. I really hope you guys try this at home. This has been Michelle Kane for vegan.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later.